Aloha, welcome to another Drupal tutorial for BYU Hawaii Webmasters. This tutorial will go over the CSS injector module, and this module enables um, the effective management and implementation of CSS um, rules and attributes, not just on one page, but multiple pages and subpages, and at the same time enable you to organize uh, your CSS effectively and, and be able to uh, uh, share those elements within uh, multiple nodes. As a, an example here we have the Seaside Athletics homepage and there are uh, it's using panels and has multiple CSS attributes and it has been effectively done using the CSS injector for positioning and uh, different background elements. Uh, also we have another example here the iLead website which has multiple um, CSS um, attributes such as uh, different background colors uh, headers and image attributes. Um, before we get started, the first thing that you have to make sure is that uh, you have the CSS injector module enabled. Uh, one thing that I want to clarify is that there is a um, CSS module and this module is different from the CSS injector in that this CSS module allows uh, the addition of CSS rules to a node kind of like inline styles and uh, this uh, enables the, the, the specific um, application of CSS rules for a node, but it will not carry over or will not be shared with other nodes. And uh, that's the disadvantage. And also the second disadvantage is that uh, when you're using uh, uh, WYSIWYG or just plain text editor within uh, Drupal, you're not able to see your CSS uh, organized and that kind of uh, creates a bit of a confusion when you're trying to uh, design your site. But the one that we're working on uh, today is the CSS injector and I have that enabled. Um, we're going to go to the CSS, uh, we're going to use the CSS injector to um, beautify this little paragraph right here and see how we can apply CSS rules uh, to this specific page. One of the tools that I like to use is the, the Firebug on Firefox. Or, uh, or on Chrome. And uh, what I like to do is identify the specific uh, div ID and, or, or class and then uh, apply, that, uh, apply a specific style to that um, specific uh, div or, or, or class. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to identify, um, I'm going to use the CSS injector and create a new rule and I'm going to call that just uh, paragraph modification. And what I would like to do is I would like to um, apply just the basic background color. So what I would like to do first is I, I identify what um, what uh, attribute that I'm going to uh, um, make the change to. So I'm going to use I could I could classify a you know a div ID or I could just use the injector for now and use the default. Um, Drupal um, ID that was given to this and so we're gonna use a selector and identify it and it right now is called the node content we're gonna copy that we're gonna take it over to the CSS injector rule paste it there and we're just gonna put a basic background color and we're gonna put the weak color there and we're going to close that. And another thing that's important to know is that you can uh, specify that attribute to multiple pages or just, just one page. Or if you want it to go to um, every page, you can just put it on the first option. But what we want to do is we would just want to apply this to this specific uh, paragraph on this specific node, which is node 156. So I'm going to go back to my injector and I say I just want this um, attribute on node 156. All right, so we're going to save that. Now remember that effect is not going to, um, you won't be able to see that unless you refresh your page. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh that. And as you can see the wheat background color has been applied to this paragraph. Now what I would like to do is I would like to do a second method which is probably an easier method as well. It's just to uh, create my own uh, div ID 
and then uh, style that div by using style this uh, paragraph using the div ID that I've created. So since we are using the WYSIWYG editor here, I'm just gonna use the uh, the HTML here and then just create a div ID. And I'm just gonna call that test. And go down and close it. And so I've named the div um, test. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that. And I'm going to go to my CSS injector. And I could use this same rule right here, or I could create another rule. And since it's the same paragraph, we'll just keep it uh, on this same one right here. And so remember, we created a div ID which is called test. And what I would like to do now is I'm just going to add some padding to the paragraph. And I'm going to close that. And let's see what happens to our page. As you can see, the padding has taken effect. And uh, as you can see, we can uh, keep adding other CSS uh, rules and attributes and uh, beautify our page. And uh, one thing that's great about the CSS injector is you can create as many rules as you want. And when dealing with um, a Drupal installation that may have um, multiple pages and to keep everything organized, and uh, clean looking. The CSS injector is a powerful tool to help you style your website and um, help you to create a professional looking website. Hopefully this CSS injector module will help you with your um, beautification of your website. Thank you.